Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier this week, I let you know that Google Chrome's obsession with tab groups continues because there would be another create new tab group button in the main menu that could be rolling out in the future. And when I posted that video earlier on this week, the feature wasn't available as yet, although the experimental flag to enable it was. Now, just to let you know that the create new tab group button in the main menu has actually arrived. So now if we head up to the three dotted main menu, you'll see over and above new tab, new window, new incognito window, which are available in the stable. In Chrome Canary, which is an early preview version, we now get a fourth option, create new tab group. And if you click on that, an easy way to create a new tab group, which you can choose a color, give it a name and so on. Now, as I mentioned previously, if you are using a lot of tabs and creating a lot of tab groups, this may be a viable option. But for a person like me, who never uses tab groups, I just think this is bloat and clutter. Because, just to do a kind of a countdown here, first of all, we've got tab groups that already exists in the main menu, in the stable version as well where you can create a tab group. Now you've got the new option in the top of the main menu to create a tab group. And you can also right click on a tab and add tab to new group or create a new tab group. So that's without including the shortcuts. That's three ways you can create a tab group. Now in the browser, in the early preview version, two of which are available in the stable version. So for me personally, I think it's a little bit of overkill. But as mentioned, if you are creating a lot of tab groups, this may be a viable option. Now, if you are testing features in Chrome Canary and you would like to get your hands on this just to test it out, we head into our experimental flags page and all you would do is type create. Create new tab group menu option at the top level of the app menu. Change that to enable, restart the browser, and you'll get the new option. Now, when I did post the previous video, I did say that I certainly hope that we get an option to be able to turn this off. Because as mentioned, you've got two entries in one menu doing the same job. But I'll give um, Google the credit here and the benefit of the doubt. It is still early preview, so they might just be testing this out. But I certainly hope if this option does become available in an upcoming stable, that there will be an option to turn this off so we don't have all the extra bloat. Because you can see just, just even one more entry significantly lengthens this main menu. So keeping my eye on this, and obviously if I get more info, I will let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.